Good morning, children. Welcome to our session six, spots and stripes. Okay, what is our second lesson? Spots and stripes. So in last class we have discussed about different types of appearance of animals. They are looking some animals that are having fur, some animals that are having shells, and some are they are having. scales okay some are they are having feathers so different types of animals we are observing so today we are discussing about the movement so the animals they can move from one place to another place how they are moving they are also moving different different types so today we will discuss that now open your textbook i think you have completed this activity 2.5 sc here movement generally we are observing Different types of animals move around in search of their basic needs, like such as food and water and shelter. Okay, they also move from one place to another. They are searching food and protect themselves. Okay, so here see, they are given some animals. Look at here, children. Some animals that swimming, like dolphin and dove and shark. Okay, they are moving like swimming. And here some animals they are flying, bat, cockroach, mosquitoes. Okay, so and see here hopping. Okay, kangaroo and grasshopper they are hopping from one place to another place and crawling. Okay, caterpillar and crocodile and snail they are crawling. And next ostrich, deer, horse they are running from one place to another place. And salamander and snake. Okay, they are slithering. Okay, slithering. They are moving like that. This moving we can call slithering. Okay, so some animals they are running and some animals they are swimming and they are hopping and flying and crawling and slithering. So different types of movements we are observing. Okay, so all they are doing they are searching for food, shelter, and they are protect themselves. Okay. Here see children, page number twenty seven open ones. Here see two point six activity here. Identify the animals and match each of the given patterns to the correct animals. Already they are having some patterns like spots. Spots means we are observing on cheetah. They are having like dots. Okay, and stripes. Cheetahs. They are having stripes. Okay, and tigers. They are having some stripes. Okay, so that pattern we have to observe. Here is three animals that are given. Now also write how the pattern useful to them. Okay, you have to write how the patterns are used here. Three animals you have to write and matching these. Okay. Look at the body parts and how they are covered the appearance. You have to observe and match these. And after you have to write why it is important. There. Okay, children. So complete this two point six activity. And now see, page number twenty-eight. You are having to be activity in companion. Sort animals into groups based on their place of living, eating habits, and body coverings. Okay. So diversity already. You know diversity means what? You know already different types of uh, food habits and movements of the all animals that live in one place too in our planet. So we are called the Diversity. Already, you know, animals are different from one another. So their appearance and eating habits and movements also different. Here, they are given some project. Open company. Page number seven. Open project and you see to be animals classification. How many classified? It depends upon their food habits or living conditions. Okay, and body coverings. Here, see they are given animals names: monkey, crow, bear, pigeon, lion, tortoise, snake, cat, sheep, and rat. So, first one they are given based on place of living. Okay, land animals. You know already land animals, but here what they are given, you have to search here and write. Okay, and water animals and tree. Some animals they can live most of the time. They can spend on trees. 
Okay, what is that animals you have to write here? And next, based on the eating habits, already I told you how can we classify them. So based on the eating habits, we can derive here herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Here see some animals they are given herbivore already one is done for you. Here see tortoise, it is a herbivore, so they are writing here. An omnivore, pizio. Okay, and carnivore. In these animals, which is a carnivore, you have to write here. Okay, children. See here, how can we derive places of living and eating habits? And next one, body coverings and how their appearance. You know, some animals that are having fur. Okay, and some animals that are having feathers. They are having scales and shells. Okay, so here they are given some animals names. Na? So you have to choose here. And what, else, what is the body coverings? You have to write here. Okay, children. Can you complete this? Yes, I know you are completing these activities. In textbook we are having In textbook we are having 2.6 activity and next here 2 B. These two activities you have to complete today. Okay, tomorrow on onwards I will give question answers for you. Because we are having so many question answers, so it is read, useful for reading. Okay. So up to now you have to complete activities. Tomorrow session we will discuss remaining. Okay, children. Bye.